What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Live Better Now podcast with your host, Life Coach Zach. This is a solo episode today, and I'm going to be discussing ways you can optimize your morning routine and your nighttime routine. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important for us to be in a routine so we can accomplish things as seamlessly and as frictionlessly as possible. And the way to do that is through routines. These are things that you do every single day, no matter what, most of the time, that help you get things done that are important to you. Whether it's waking up early, whether it's doing your skincare routine, whether it's fasting, eating healthy, exercising, having a routine as soon as we wake up and having a routine when we're ready to get to bed will help us optimize sleep, recovery, mental health, physical health. So I, I think uh, it goes up being said that having a routine is very important. There's a lot of science behind going to sleep at the same time every single night and waking up at the same time every single night. This is called our circadian rhythm. It's our internal clock that tells us, hey, it's ready to wake up. Hey, we're ready to go to bed. Now, when it comes to routines, there's two different types of routines that I'm going to talk about during today's podcast episode. That's the morning routine, what you do as soon as you wake up. And that's the nighttime routine, what you do before you go to bed. Now, the first one I'm going to talk about is the nighttime routine. Now, why am I going to talk about the nighttime routine first? Because personally, I believe your nighttime routine is more important than your morning routine. And I'll tell you why. Because in order to have a successful and effective morning routine, you got to get good sleep. You got to wake up on the right side of the bed. You got to make sure that as soon as your eyes open and the alarm goes off, that you have clarity, direction, and you're very, I guess, efficient in starting the day. So when it comes to nighttime routine, what are some good things to incorporate into your nighttime routine? Well, a lot of self-care and personal growth habits that are easy, that don't really require you looking at your phone. Now, I follow someone on Instagram. His name is Dan Go. Uh, I'm pretty sure his Instagram handle is uh, Dan Founder or, or maybe Dan Go. Uh, he is a, uh, how do I call it? He's a, a personal trainer, I guess. He's a personal trainer, but he talks a lot about optimizing our body, optimizing our mental health and our physical health. And the one thing he says, there's a rule he has, and it's the three, two, one rule. What's the three, two, one rule? Well, three hours before you go to bed, you don't eat anything. Two hours before you go to bed, you don't drink anything. And one hour before you go to bed, you stop looking at your screen. And that's something that I've been incorporating into my life is, uh, you know, I eat dinner at 7 p.m. every single day. I'm done by 7, 15, 730. I don't eat anything else for the rest of the night. I go to bed around 10 o'clock, 1030. When it comes to drinking, you know, I drink a ton of water throughout the day. Around nine o'clock, I stopped drinking water. Um, and again, that bedtime's around 10.30, so it's around one and a half hours. And then I really try hard to get off my phone by 9.30. Really, really try hard to get off my phone by 9.30, open up a good book, uh, start the essential oil diffuser, dim down the lights a little bit, put on my nasal strip, and get to bed. Now, a couple of sleep hacks for you guys, because obviously sleep is what we're trying to get to when we start our nighttime routine, we want to get to bed uh, ready to go to sleep. It's important to decompress physically and mentally. And uh, some of the things that you can do that will help you teach your body, automate your body, and let your body know, hey, it's time to go to sleep are these specific, almost inconsequential routines. For me, it's turning on the essential oil diffuser. So I turn on the essential oil diffuser at around 8 o'clock at night, 8.30. Uh, I dim the lights a little bit, and uh, I have the essential oil diffuser uh, blow out steam of lavender. Now, lavender is supposed to, the scent of lavender is supposed to help you go to sleep, right? So I do that. Um, I wear nasal strips every night when I go to bed, and I wear mouth tape. So I'll put on my nasal strip about 30 minutes or so before I get into bed. I also sleep with a face mask. Uh, I sleep with a face mask that covers my eyes. So, you know, when I'm sleeping, I got the nose tape, I got the mouth tape, and I got the the eye mask. And these are three things that I cannot sleep without anymore. They've helped me sleep better. They've helped me wake up feeling stronger, help me wake up with uh, with more mental clarity. But optimizing your routine, 
making sure that your routine is helping you prepare to go to sleep and get a good night's sleep. Because sleep is not, good sleep is not based off of quantity. It's based off of quality. What do I mean by that? It's not about how many hours you sleep. It's about how high of the quality of sleep you're getting while you're sleeping, okay? How many hours are you spending in REM and or deep sleep? That's what's important here. It's not, hey, I got my eight hours. Hey, I got my seven hours, my seven and a half hours. It's no, listen, I got six hours, but I got six hours of uninterrupted deep sleep. And because of that, I'm able to go to sleep at 1030 and wake up at 4 a.m. And, uh, you know, this week, I, I mean, I track it. If if you're watching on YouTube, you can see behind me over here. Uh, if you're not and you're just listening on Apple, Spotify, or Audible, don't forget to leave a review. We recommend five stars. Uh, I track everything from uh, how many calls I make to how many DMs I send to how many live interviews I do and uh, what live interviews are just to kind of fill you guys in a little bit. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a real estate agent as well. And I spend 50% of my time on real estate 50% of my time on life coaching. And uh, real estate, it's really important to talk to as many people as possible. So uh, I try to, one of my goals is to do 10 live interviews a day, talk to 10 new people a day and uh, ask them about where they're living, what are their real estate goals and how I can help them get into a new house, get into a new rental, uh, save some money and uh, start to create more financial freedom and wealth for them and, and their children. So with that being said, um, I don't know how we got so off topic about how many calls I make in real estate. Um, where were we going with that, Zach? Where are we going with that? Oh, 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 I'm up every day at 4.15 in the morning. Okay, so I get about six and a half hours of sleep per night. But again, it's high quality sleep and it starts with the nighttime routine. So some of the things that I want you guys to start incorporating into your nighttime routine. Uh, smells, sights, and sounds. The three S's, smells, sights, and sounds. What are the smells? For me, it's lavender in the essential oil diffuser. For you, it could be maybe a candle. For you, maybe it could be um, the essential oils. Uh, for you, maybe you can mix smell with your skincare routine. You know, and you're putting on your, uh, your serum at night. You're doing your nighttime skincare routine, uh, and that kind of invigorates a smell that gets you ready to go to sleep. Sights. When we talk about sights, I want to talk about light and uh, blue light exposure as well. Not just light in your house, but uh, blue light that's coming off of your computer, phone, or your TV. So if you're going to do that, make sure you're wearing a pair of blue light blocking glasses. Now, you guys see in all my Instagram videos on all the podcast episodes, I'm wearing these blue light blockers. I don't know what brand this is. Shout out to whatever brand, Gamma Ray Optics. And look, I, I don't, I'm not saying Gamma Ray Optics is the best one out there. I know nothing about Gamma Ray Optics, um, but I have three pairs of these. One I keep on my desk, one I keep in the living room, but this one I'm wearing, Gamma Ray Optics. Uh, so congratulations to Gamma Ray Optics for, for getting a free shout out here. But the blue light blocking sunglasses are necessary. Okay, what happens is when the blue light penetrates our retina, it triggers a response in our body from our brain that, hey, it's daytime and we should be doing things. So we need to minimize that blue light as much as possible, but more so, more so importantly, we need to minimize the blue light at night. Okay, so sights, uh, smells, and now we're going to talk about sounds. So what type of sounds are you hearing when you're about to go to sleep? For Excuse me, for me, it's silence. For me, I, I don't like to talk a lot. I live with my girlfriend and, uh, you know, I try to minimize conversations right before going to sleep just because I like to relax and take, take deep breaths and things like that. A lot of people like to listen to white noise while they're going to sleep. A lot of people like to listen to meditation music, maybe some classical music. Um, but that's one of the sounds that, that you can incorporate into your nighttime routine to help your circadian rhythm get more consistent, okay? Because it's all about consistency here. We want to go to sleep at the same time every single night, and we want to wake up at the same time every single night. So there's a lot more details, and there's a lot more information. There's a lot of other things that I can share with you guys 
when it comes to the nighttime routine. But for these solo podcast episodes, I like to keep these under 15 minutes. Uh, and I want to pivot the conversation to the morning routine, which is my favorite. Morning routine is, is probably one of my most favorite topics to talk about. My number one favorite topic to talk about is uh, goal setting. My second most favorite topic to talk about is consciousness and awareness. And my third favorite topic to talk about, which I do not talk about on the podcast because it's not relevant to the message and the brand, is uh, stocks. <laughs> I love stocks. I, I don't know why. It's, it's like sports for me. A lot of my friends, they like watching football. A lot of my friends, they like playing golf. For me, I like paying attention to the stock market. And I haven't always liked the stock market. And I wasn't always so passionate, interested in stocks and, and personal finance. Uh, no, I've always been interested in personal finance, but stocks specifically, just so recently, probably when, like when COVID hit and the markets were going crazy, I started paying attention a little more. And since then, I've been buying a lot of stocks, guys. Buying a lot of Apple, buying a lot of Amazon, buying a lot of Microsoft, buying a lot of Johnson & Johnson, buying a lot of NVIDIA, buying a lot of uh, Dow Jones, S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. And guys, they're all up, okay? There are very, very few positions that I am down in. Um, so the, it, I, I did mention this on uh, the podcast last week, or maybe it's the podcast that's going to be dropping on Friday, but if you are under 45 years old, I mean, more specifically, if you're under 25 years old, open up a tax-deferred retirement account with either Fidelity, Merrill Lynch, Charles Schwab, even Robin Hood guys, and start putting 50 bucks a week in there. Okay, we got to start saving for retirement. Back to the morning routine. My morning routine, here we go. Alarm goes off at 4.15. I put my phone on the other side of the room so I have to get out of bed and turn off the alarm. I grab clothes from my closet. I head downstairs. I make my coffee. I chug my water. After uh, my coffee's made and my water's been chugged, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I head to the gym immediately uh, because I, I coach a client at 6 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I like to be at the gym before I speak with him and get that done. Uh, so I'm at the gym around 4.45, uh, immediately go into the cold plunge. As you guys saw my Instagram story last week, after the cold plunge, I either swim laps or, or I work out. Um, and then from there, it's, uh, you know, getting that exercise in guys. I love getting my exercise in, uh, within the first two hours of the day. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm on the bike, uh, cause I'm training for my Ironman, Ironman Cosmo coming up in November. I believe it's November 19th. Uh, we're going for our fourth Ironman. It's gonna be the fourth Ironman I'm going to go after. And uh, training started a couple weeks ago, so we're getting into the swing of things. We're going to be hiring a coach. I'm going to be interviewing Ironman coaches coming up here in the next month or two. Uh, so stay it, it, stay in the know for that. Not that I'm going to share too much about that. I like to talk about my journey with these endurance sports, and I like to uh, fill you guys in and give you guys as much detail as possible about what I'm up to and what are some of my some of my goals. But um, I don't know if people care too much about the Ironman, so I don't talk about it as much as I used to. It used to be something I spoke about a lot because it was something I was spending a lot of time doing. Uh, but now as we start to niche down the podcast, this is all about mindset. This is all about personal growth. This is all about self-development, uh, you know, mindfulness exercises, routines, time sharpening time management skills, so on and so forth. So that's my morning routine. It's up at 4.15. It's making coffee, chugging water. Uh, a lot of times I'll read 10 pages when I wake up. Um, and then it's right to the gym getting that exercise in. Now this sets me up for the day. How does this set me up for the day? Well, I've already meditated. I've already uh, drank like the, at that point, like quarter gallon of water. Uh, I've already, you know, looked at my calendar for the day. I've already uh, planned out and visualized how my day is going to go down all before like 6.30 in the morning, guys. And on top of that, I get to see the sunrise. So every single morning I'm at the beach. Luckily, I'm so fortunate to live close to the beach. Uh, so I go to the beach every single morning around 6.45, 7 a.m., watch the sunrise while I listen to a podcast. Uh, so, so, you know, I'm going to give a couple shout outs real quick, actually. Some of the podcasts that I that I like listening to, I love Huge Huge Fan, probably the favorite, my favorite podcast I like listening to, the Dave Ramsey podcast. It's all about personal finance, all about saving money, all about making money, all about trying to get rich, be financially free. And he does it in a very simple way. So that's my favorite podcast to listen to. Lately, I've been listening to Rich Roll podcast. He's had some pretty good guests on there. Um, what other podcasts? I like listening to Motley Fool. It's a lot about stocks and things like that. But um, I try not to listen to any music. I really, I don't have Apple Music. I don't have Spotify. I don't even have Pandora on my phone. 
uh, and I definitely don't listen to the radio. So I try to substitute music for podcasts and audiobooks, and that's been working wonders for me. I've been getting the most positive results in my life from just learning from other people, and the way I consume their content is typically through books, and more specifically, through audiobooks. So this episode was all about optimizing your morning routine and your nighttime routine. Now, the one thing, the few things that are very important to your morning routine, number one, getting up every single day at the same time. Number two, drinking water as soon as you wake up, breaking the seal, getting some water in your body, waking, excuse me, waking your body up. And then number three, getting in exercise. Guys, even if it's 20 pushups, 50 pushups, a couple jumping jacks, a 15, 20 minute walk, we got to move our body, we got to get our heart rate up. We got to put our body in some motion so we can create some energy to go throughout the day, full force, like a train running through a brick wall. If you would like my feedback, my opinion on your nighttime and morning routine, head over to lifecoachzack.com. That's lifecoachzack.com. Fill out the form, reach out to me, and I will give you guys my honest feedback on how your morning routine and how your nighttime routine is either benefiting you or holding you back. You guys, I want to say it one more time. Thank you so, so, so much for all the love recently. The podcast numbers are going parabolic. We just passed over 600 followers on Spotify. We're, we have over 500 listeners. And uh, I'm super proud. And I've been able to uh, have amazing conversations with amazing people. And all these people that I've been having conversations with, I've been able to nurture a relationship with. And it's opened up a lot of doors for me. And that's why I'm doubling down on the podcast. So you guys should expect two episodes every single week. Wednesdays are going to be solo episodes. Fridays are going to be uh, interviews, conversations with people that are more successful than me. Every single time. People that are more successful to me. More successful than me. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Continue to build momentum throughout the week. Uh, make sure you guys are going to sleep at the same time. Make sure you are waking up at the same time. If you're interested in checking out and experiencing the magic of uh, nasal strips or mouth tape, you can go right on Amazon.com. They're like $5. Highly, highly recommend. Uh, and uh, if there's anything I can think of between now and the next podcast, you'll hear from me on Instagram. If you haven't already followed me there or on TikTok, please do. You guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And... I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Live Better Now podcast. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for being a loyal listener of the podcast. If you haven't already gotten my first book, Live Better Now, it's officially out on Amazon.com. I want to give a huge thank you to everyone that's already purchased the book, reviewed the book, or shared it with friends and family. It really, really means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. Go ahead and visit Amazon.com and purchase Live better now.